Heart attack risk factors. Know your numbers. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, heart attack and stroke are the leading killers in our society, as well as other cardiovascular diseases. And we know that in many cases, these problems can be prevented with the right diet and lifestyle factors. You've heard all of this before. But you have to know exactly where you stand. You know, what is your exact risk profile your, or your exact risk of, of, of dying from or developing a serious cardiovascular event, you know, in the near future? And there are ways to predict it using objective measurements that you get from standard blood work. So what I've done is I've summarized all the important tests and provided the ideal range for, and values for all the tests in the article. If you click on the link below, you'll see it. It's called Primary Risk Factor Screening for Cardiovascular Disease. So click on the link below and read the article when this video is over. And I say that because you can't just leave it up to your doctor to give you a blanket statement like, well, everything looks to be okay. Yeah, your cholesterol's all right. No, I, I, everything seems to be okay. Or, you know, well, it's a little bit high, but I wouldn't worry about it. It'd be best if you just got a photocopy of your actual results and compared the values on, the, on your form to the ideal values that are in the research paper that you can click on to at the end of this video. And I say that because medical doctors sometimes will take uh, what's known as the medical acceptable range, whereas it's not really the ideal range. You need to know what is the ideal range. I'll give you an example. Many medical doctors will allow you to have a blood cholesterol as high as 5.2 millimoles per liter or 200 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, and that's okay, but what's ideal where people pretty much never have a heart attack is when they have a total cholesterol below 3.9, not 5.2, which is also 150 milligrams per deciliter, not 200 milligrams per deciliter. So in my, on my form, I show you what is the ideal range for optimal prevention. Another example, your blood sugar level, your blood glucose level should be under 5 millimoles per liter or 90 milligrams per deciliter after a 12-hour fast. If it's higher than that, medical doctors don't get excited until you start approaching the diabetic range, which to me is way too late. So you really should know where you stand uh, with all of these tests. And there's many other examples. So click on the link below, print out a copy of the article, and compare your blood result findings to those in the ideal range within my article. Don't leave it to chance because there's certainly a lot at risk for you if you don't take this seriously. You'll see at the end of my article all the scientific references so you know you're getting sound scientific information from me on this subject. So I think it's something everybody should really do. Know your numbers so you know exactly where your risk profile is and you'll understand what things you need to modify so that you get yourself into the ideal range and don't die prematurely from a heart attack, a stroke, or another type of vascular event. Now at MachinoHealth.com, you'll see my other research uh, review articles, teaching materials, uh, footage from my live professional seminars, other videos and resources I've created. They're all there for free. They'll help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. That's the idea. And all my research review articles and teaching materials have all the scientific references in them so you know you're getting only sound, evidence-based information from me on any topic you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.